Hey everyone, welcome back. We are still looking at our HMH digital platform. Today, we are going to look at a really great feature called the module writing tasks. So every module has a writing task. And so we are going to look at what that looks like. So the first thing you're gonna do is press your, click your module writing task. And once you click it, it is going to open up to this page. There's two parts of this page. You have your My Assignments, where you can see everything that you've assigned, and then you also have your Explore page. So we're gonna start with the Explore part of it. You will notice that the pictures of the task match your actual module unit. So it's very easy to tell which task goes with which unit. So we are working with inventors, and it looks like we are going to write a personal narrative. So when I click on personal narrative, I actually wanna see what the students are going to see, and then we'll go through how to copy the assignment and how you can go in and edit that assignment. So I'm gonna click preview as a student. When I click this, there's gonna be two parts that pop up. The actual book, the text, all of the stories that we've read will pop up, and then the student instructions will pop up. So right here, the students can control which story that they are looking at, and then they also, just like with their digital book, can turn that highlight on. And if they need a little reminder on what they've read. Thomas was curious about locomotives. He got a job as a newsboy. They can click right there and it'll help spark that memory of what they were reading. Um, you control the instructions that you give them and I'll show you how you do that. And this is where they actually start the draft of their writing composition that they're doing. It tells them their prompt and then some helpful instructions from the teacher. So I just wanted you to see that part. Now let's actually copy this as an assignment so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna press this button right here that says copy to my assignments or remember when we first pressed explore, we can copy assignment right here too. So you can do it either way. So let's copy this assignment and then we're gonna go to my assignments. And now we're gonna actually look at it because we need to probably edit it a little bit. So we are going to click on it and we are going to press edit. And now you can actually go through and edit this. So anywhere you see this little pencil right here, you can edit what that says. So if you want to change the title, you can do that. If you want to change the goal right here to one of your I can statements, you can do that. You can also add a video or an audio of you giving more instructions. Maybe you have some routines that you wanna remind them of as they're going through this. You can actually add that here. When the students click it, they'll be able to see you or hear you give them those extra instructions. You have your rubric right here. So your students can see the rubric that you're gonna be grading. This is in very kid-friendly language, but then you, the reviewer language is right here. So this is um, you as the teacher grading this. You can decide the weight that this holds by just clicking these carrots right here up and down. And then you can also add to the checklist. If you want to add something that you don't see, you can press add. You can look at whatever it is. Maybe you want them to provide strong evidence, okay? And then you just add to assignment. And then now it has been added to the assignment. You can also decide maybe you wanna change the order of it and you want this to be the first thing that you look at. That's up to you as well. Maybe you decide, actually, that's really not what I'm looking for. You can go ahead and remove that from your rubric. So this is the draft. You can rename this if you want. Maybe you want this to be um, the brainstorm part of it and you wanna add another rubric. You can add as many sections as you want to this rubric. So maybe you want this one to be your brainstorm rubric. And then you can enter your instructions right here. And then you can add to the checklist. I am just going to click on something for today's video 
And then maybe you decide like, ooh, I want this to be in the order of the actual writing process. So I'm going to move my brainstorm up here and then move my draft down here. Maybe you decide, you know what? Today we are just working on draft. That's really all I want them to see. You can also remove that. So you can control what you do right here and what happens. You can edit the teacher instructions. You can tell them how long they'll have to actually work on this and then how many prompts you want them to be able to turn in and then whether you're going to grade it with a percent or a number. So after you go through all of that, now I'm gonna go back to manage. So I just clicked manage and now I'm ready to assign this to my students. So I'm gonna decide who am I assigning this to and maybe I'm just assigning it to me because I wanna model this for the students. I want them to see what I'm actually going to go through until it becomes more of a habit or a routine. Maybe this is a introductory lesson on the writing process or what you're expecting them to this to look like. So you have the options to assign it however you would like. And then you would go back to my assignments. And now you can see right here how many classes you've assigned it to, the number of students, and then you'll be able to see who's actually turned it in and then who has received a grade. And so you'll go in through your rubric that you created to actually grade the assignment. So today we looked at the writing module. So we logged in, we clicked on our module writing task, and then we made sure that our writing task matched the actual unit that we were working in, okay? And so when you go to explore, we looked at the picture that pops up to know like, okay, this is the same picture that's right here. So I know that this is Inventors at Work. Thank you so much for joining me today.